greenteaguru.co.uk offers green tea, white tea, black tea, oolong tea, and we absolutely love Pu'er tea with offerings of Misty Peaks, Yunnan Sourcing, Mung Hai, and Sha Guan. We regularly visit Hong Kong and Guangdong, sourcing out very interesting and special cakes for your tea table. Green Tea Guru, based in UK with worldwide delivery. Okay guys, hello and welcome. Welcome to Green Tea Guru. And today, we'll be unraveling the ancient mysteries of Chinese traditional medicine and how it relates to tea. So, while in Guangdong, visiting various tea shops, I came across this little gem. Um, they sell black tea, a very high-end black tea, very, very nice, very malty, very, very light, and very tasty. Um, it's really serving as a, a backdrop to our impending conversation. But if anyone's interested in this tea, then I have several 20 gram pouches that I'm more than willing to give away with any of my tea orders. Just let me know and I'll drop some in. I tell you what spurred me to create this video. After the last video that I made, um, Pua Going Global, I did briefly mention the cooling properties of Pua tea and I got a a few emails from people asking how and why and why does this happen I don't understand please tell me more uh, there's also been a couple of heated debates on some tea forums and I think that traditional Chinese medicine is for some people potentially quite hard to grasp it's it's not like our scientific method methodology for medicine in the west think of it as an alternative medicine one that's been practiced for thousands of years and one that is still very much used and sought after by chinese people often when people are ill in china and hong kong they'll take both routes they'll they'll go for the the, the western um proven scientific method method of, uh, of of getting well uh, but also supplement that with traditional Chinese medicine I was speaking only last month to an expat that I know over in uh, Hong Kong and he was telling me how hard it is to find a doctor um, that's that doesn't come out with you know you're ill because you're too hot or too cold he just wants <laughs> he just wants a normal doctor um, which I found very amusing you can probably tell in my voice today guys that uh, my voice is very croaky um, so definitely my yin or yan is is out of place somewhere and that's how it works um, your body uh, has yin and yang and the hot and cold uh, when you're ill uh, there is an imbalance somewhere and to fix your illness uh, you need to balance out your yin yang so hot and cold foods hot and cold drinks hot and cold anything will put that back to its order of things drinking eating hot and cold foods or taking hot and cold medicine to neutralize your issues will benefit you or will put you into dangerous territory if you believe these things so where this goes with tea traditional medicine in China view raw pu'er young sheng as being hyper cooling aged sheng will be neutral ripe pu'er will be a warming medicine if you like I can tell you I have some personal experience with this in that I don't necessarily feel the warming qualities of ripe pu'er 
but I have in the past uh, took it upon myself to drink way too much young sheng um, in a given period um, and and what happened to me uh, was I, n- I have never really experienced this before I've, I think I've generally been a very warm uh, bodied person but uh, drinking a lot of sheng in a, in a very short period of time we're talking within a few weeks I was drinking a lot every day um, I noticed my hands and feet going cold so you know if they're exposed um, you know, away from the duvet, if you like, when I'm in my bed, they were going cold quite quickly. I have to, I have to cover them up to get them hot. I never in my life really experienced these things so badly. Um, it got to a stage where um, I was actually coughing up. I was coughing a lot, um, and uh, my wife was very concerned. She spoke to my mother, uh, my mother-in-law over in Hong Kong, and my mother-in-law asked me. Is it white? Is it is it white phlegm? <laughs> this is quite disgusting. I do apologise. Um, and yes, it was. It was white. It was it was white phlegm. It was very small white phlegm. And uh, she she asked me this, and it's true. That's what it was. And she told me straight away, your body's too cold. You need to stop drinking um, this raw puer for a while. Um, I did. Uh, I stopped, and within a a week, all this coughing had gone, and you know my uh, my hands and feet were fine. And I do now still notice that if I drink a little bit too much green tea um, or too much sheng, um, then I, I haven't got the coughing back, but the the hands and feet thing, uh, where my hands and feet go cold, that does happen within half an hour sometimes of me drinking this tea. So, yeah, I, I completely understand that if you're from a Western school of thought this kind of talk, this medicine talk um, could be a bit hard to swallow you just need to approach it with an open mind do your research, look into it to put it easily, I, I believe that the, the nature of whether a tea is hot or cold generally boils down to how roasted or oxidised that particular tea is Young Sheng, green tea, is right at the bottom there of, um, of processing. The higher up you get, the more potentially warming or neutral that tea is going to be. So, I find it quite interesting because a lot of my uh, Chinese family on the wife's side, they're very susceptible to cool, co- cooling tea. Uh, they can't drink sheng because they go very dizzy, uh, which is absolutely fine. There's more sheng for me. <laughs> um, but also, my wife's, uh, my sister-in-law, she she has a very hot body. Uh, it's something she just can't shake off. Um, so much so that when she goes through uh, certain points in Hong Kong, if you're going in or outside Hong Kong, they've got these... Uh, these these points that have been put up to check for SARS or any other um, illnesses that might be going around, and they just really they beep your head, so they 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 work out how uh, if you've got a temperature. And whenever she gets beeped, she always gets stopped and have has questions asked because she's got a hot body, um, which is interesting. So how do you know if your body is too hot? Well, I'm going to quickly spin off some uh, potential symptoms. Um, Perspiration, thirst, constipation, anxiety, red eyes, red face, headaches, vivid dreams, ulcers in the mouth or tongue. These sort of things may indicate that you've got a a potentially too hot body. So when you're too hot, you are too yang heavy. You need more yin to bring your body down and neutralize it a bit. If you're too cold, then you need to raise your yang. The potential symptoms are cold hands, cold feet, 
generally a cold body, diarrhea, stomach pains, discomfort after eating food or drink, um, sorry, discomfort after eating or drinking cold things, bloating after eating, lack of energy, sore joints, fluid retention. And I'm going to quickly spin off some cooling foods and drink. So cooling foods may be apple, banana, grapefruit, kiwi fruit, lemon, orange, pear. Um, of course we've covered the tea. Um, vegetables, cucumber, green leafy stuff, lettuce, tomatoes, that sort of thing. Warming foods. Warming foods such as cherries, coconut milk, guava, lychee, mango, raspberry, chestnuts, multi, multi things, walnuts, pistachio nut, drinks, uh, warming drinks could be uh, coffee, ripe pua, as we said, yingseng, ginger, very good, warming, garlic, chili, nutmeg, coriander, cloves, cinnamon, all those sort of things. Prawns as well, very warming. So just to emphasize really, tea is a medicine if you like, it needs to be respected. Don't worry too much about it. If you do want more answers, the best thing to do is seek out your local traditional Chinese medicine practitioner and they can guide you for everything and, and you'll probably come out of there with more knowledge about how well balanced you are and you'll probably have some medicine with you <laughs> at the same time um, but it's it's always worth dropping by just for more knowledge to be honest as always guys thanks a lot for dropping by and please remember you can uh, buy green tea sharing and many more from greenteaguru.co.uk